What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out another episode of Botchamania 463. Y'all know I had to check it out. Your boy Rob Ross is back in the building. Look, I've been comfortable all day. I pretty much haven't left the house at all. I've just been chilling, me and Blondie, though it's been cold and raining outside. So, I've just been pretty much relaxing today, man. I, I wanted to kind of just, you know, kind of sober up I've, I've i had a a long night last night so i'm still trying to sober up but just believe i had to check botchamania out because it's botchamania your boy rob ross is here to make sure you guys are comfortable while watching this reaction and have a good time per usual so we're gonna check this out man appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel let's get right into this botchamania episode this is Slam Sam Meadowood here. Follow me on Twitter at Ref Slam Sam. All right, Ref. And you're watching Botch Me. Okay. Guys. Out of the corner. One, two, three, four. Don't go. Don't What? Wrestlers. He got a basketball. Yeah. 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 The danger zone. Five stars. Oh, I see. You know what it felt like when you put this ball in my hand? What? Destiny. Like I'll be waiting my whole life for this game alone, boy. Man, you talk too much. Hey, you can talk all you want when your game backs it up. Oh, <laughs> and he botches it. Botchamania. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you give any thoughts to my proposal? Wait a minute, that's in an actual movie? Wow, Botchamania, you guys have made it, man. You guys have made it. <laughs> made it to an Amazon Prime movie that looks kind of cringe as hell. <laughs> That's awesome. Boom, boom. Coca Banner. Boom, boom. Wow. Coca boom, boom. Coca Banner. It's Coca Banner. Enough. Bring it down. And barely on the top. Uh oh. Yes. Hey, yes. 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 I was hoping they brought this up. Cut to a different clip involving WWE women's wrestlers and tables this week. <laughs> Any clip. Any. <laughs> Behold gravity in all its glory. Yep, that was it. Yeah, that, I remember Pretty seeing that. Lame. House. Oh. That definitely wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, this is rolled the big time. That's what's going on right now. And they get an opportunity, as you said, in this world title eliminator tournament. And the winner of this match will face Bandito or, or Roosh on Friday on Rampage. And Taz, just a small correction. On Friday night, it will be Roosh and Bandito in their first round matchup in the Eliminator Tournament. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you correcting? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to wrestle each other. Okay. Whoever wins that, face well, yeah, the winner of this. Face the winner of this, yeah, but this is not happening Friday on Rampage. Okay. All right, no if problem. I jump in between you two guys for just a moment. <laughs> Shut up, Tony. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of closer opponent, you got a rear chin lock in. Notice how Ethan Page keeps his head, his ear down on his opponent at all times. You want to keep that weight, Shivani, on your opponent's body. Shivani leave. Dynamite drop in, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro. Yes, you're exactly right, Taz. Well, I mean, you could just blow me off or uh, reply. I mean, okay. he, he hit the wrong button on a okay. soundboard. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking, what the hell is he talking about now? I better respond. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? One of the best analysts in the game, but right now, Stokely's well, trying. Uh, pardon me, I'm speaking, Shivani. Stokely is trying to inspire. <laughs> bro, trying what? To the match. bro, what is. Ha Taz just does not care, bro. Absolutely doesn't give a F on commentary. Inspire <laughs> all, all ego to get rolling here. And, and your point earlier, Excalibur, you can tell they both know each other quite well. You're right, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> what? Damn, I love this job. It's great. <laughs> oh, yes. The 24-7 title being thrown away. 
Yes. Well, kind of, sort of. It didn't make it into the trash can. Miss. No, I missed. AW has a revolving commentary booth. A lot of different combos and guest commentators. Who, from the AW team, in your opinion, should never be at the commentary table? <laughs> it's Friday night, and you know what? Oh. <laughs> Oh. We are live, we are live JR. I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay? Mike, after 2017, the head injury, no one they really expect him to make his way back, did they? Nobody thought, thought he would exist. No, I mean, it, it was it was a moment where, where the doctors feared for Shibata's life, not just his career. Cassie goes suplex. over over the top and... Oh! oh suplex of my... Of my Backdrop, my and probably not, not what? sure where he is. Well, the stretch, the abominable stretch. The abdominal stretch is right, Mike. The abominable stretch. Wait a minute. I didn't know Mike Tyson was on commentary at one point randomly. What the hell? What is going on? Listen, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> bottomless. <laughs> bottomless what? Bottom, charging into the ropes, oh, looking for the shit. peak. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. F*** <laughs> off. Madison Square Garden, I've done the O2, I've done the Tokyo Dome, and now I'm in front of an ungrateful Tokyo By the way, I got the dome mixed up with Suman Hall. Middle of my promo, I was like, fuck, what a dummy. Either way, this is what has been amazing. <laughs> hey, man, you botched it. It's okay, man. It happens. It happens dome. to the best of us. Madison Square Garden, O2. That incel, y'all are gonna wanna jump on the gravy train that is L.A. Night. But let me handle a little business here because this little hot tart announcer over here just couldn't happen to get my hometown right a couple weeks ago. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Wow. Maryland, at 240 pounds. Believe me, I understand it. What you were feeling was the undeniable Kaborka of L.A. <laughs> what? Night. You what? got lost in these baby blues, but even though you got it right tonight, that intro you just did, that ain't good enough for the Megastar. I'm only human after all. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if you've listened to my podcast, you know that's true. I don't think I was a good wrestler. I don't think Brett was a great wrestler. I, he was wrestler i think i was a better sports entertainer than brett was and i think that's where the money is so i always thought <clears throat> that he, he should have done business and done what was right and you know what i mean i know writers who use subtext and they're all cowards <laughs> Next up, uh, Kaz beat Christian in 15 minutes and 13 seconds of a ladder match. This makes him the top contender for Kurt Angle's title. He's officially won the fight for the right tournament. Tons of crazy spots, but something that only could happen maybe in TNA happens. While Christian's climbing, Kaz uses a springboard dropkick to the ladder, knocking him over. In doing so, the contract for the title match that was hanging above oh. now falls to the ground. Wow. Here for a moment, nobody really knows what to do. And Meltzer says this has happened in the past in TNA, and they've rehung it. But it would have killed the flow. Luckily, the clipboard didn't fall, so they now said the person who grabs the clipboard is the winner. It's a little thing, but it kind of takes you out of it a little bit. Wow. Unfortunately, it takes you out of it. Kaz and Christian can go. They tore it down. Legit. Wow, bro. Imagine they just have to hang the clipboard clipboard up. Like you can restart the match just to get the clipboard. What? What? Wow. I need a release. Hire HR expert. <laughs> Oh, 
Who booked this crap? Brawler likes uh, anime women. Your miss is greater than Sprite. Uh, I don't know about that one, man. I, I I like I prefer Sprite over Sierra Miss. That's just my uh personal opinion on the situation. Casey yeah, likes pineapple and pizza. Ugh. What are we doing? This is a wrestling show. Congratulations. Nobody cares. Yeah. Tony <laughs> got his receipt. Now, Steve, Tony Gunn did win that second what, what, chance. What, 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 what was that? Second time. Oh, Bruce Wayne's eliminated. Doing the second Bruce time. Bruce Wayne. Has what was that? Uh, that opportunity has been given to OBW. The last winner, cash flow. <laughs> last year. I was on Brasilia. Oh, AJ Daniels goes to the top rope. Tony Gunn caught him. Oh, wow. He ain't lying. <laughs> All right, the table's back up. Is the table going to break? Is the table going to break? Oh, the table didn't break. <laughs> Dubai, you want to see me box? Try one more time. Hey, Dubai, I know you guys are stupid, but I asked, do you guys want to see me box? Such a heel. Such a oh, heel. Nah. Never say never. And uh Nah, Sammy, he, he knows people don't like him wherever he goes. So he just heals it up, <laughs> as he should. Uh, hey, if the right opportunity comes, everybody can get it. <laughs> <laughs> for that. The right opportunity may have, it was there. Oh, those shots aren't that, uh, now, not so two, much steam behind them. Led. Oh. oh, boy. Now that drop kick, uh, DeFurio, who, who has done some good things, that drop kick was not good because if you notice when he came up, he had his legs spread out. And yeah, that. Target. You can't do that. Yeah, that didn't look good. Depending on how confident you are, how about it? So as I was saying, I think we really need to get the championship back because Judas needs to be your champion. This guy right here doesn't... I, I felt secondhand embarrassment. That was just so bad. Oh, brother, that was awful. Why are you trying to spray me? You want to fight? You want to fight? Oh, my God. Yeah, it didn't work. Well, you know what, fellas? It's fight night. And we've brought back up. Oh yeah, when the mic wasn't working. Our legends. We can't hear you. <laughs> tonight, this, this was a good moment. Of the, the bloodline. <laughs> this is good. You can't even get the mic to work. I mean, come on. What, else, what are you gonna do, pal? That shit was. Bro, that was so fucking funny, bro, because the mic really was messing up. And bro was like, bro, you can't even get the mic to work. What are you going to do? <laughs> that was great. Oh. You know, Roman. That shit was. I have no problem saying it right to your face. The truth of the matter is. You want. <laughs> oh, look at this now. <laughs> I love it. I like how he charge. I like the next slide. He charges no the ring right and get face. beat up. The truth of the matter is, you <laughs> oh my oh. god! Oh, charges ring, <laughs> get beat up. They were stomping him. <laughs> oh, that was great. All of that was great.
God can Bro, yeah. Usi. Yeah, the Usi. 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 Coming over here. <laughs> oh my God, man. Mega Man 2. <laughs> At this time, the people would ask that Mr. Uh, Simpson step forward and try on the, the uh, glove recovered at Bundy as well as the glove recovered at Rockingham. But what the hell? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Council. Uh, come on, Luann. You know what this is. Kirk, I don't know what it is. Oh, it could not be more simple, Luann. Five superstars will compete in this unique 25 minute match. They will battle each other and the clock. Two superstars will start the match. Every five minutes, a new superstar will enter to all five are in the ring. The goal of the match is to have the most falls and the clock gets 25 minutes. Falls can be won at any time. Pinfall, submission, or disqualification. When a superstar wins a fall, they will earn one point. However, when a superstar loses a fall, they must pay the penalty. They are forced out of the ring and into the penalty box for 90 seconds. Once the 90 seconds are up, that superstar can re-enter the match. Superstar who scored the most falls in the clock gets 25 minutes. What is this, match? Oh, damn. The Iron Survivor Challenge. What? Don't you even know NXT deadline? When you see it. I'm sorry, I'm not as smart as you, Kirk. We didn't all go to Chase University. <laughs> what? That's a real match now? The Jellicle Appreciation Society. The epitome of sports and of names. Somebody once told me the world really? is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. It's like a recognizable voice. The stop coming and they don't stop coming. Oh, what? Gonna hit the ground running. Did make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Oh, you don't go down. The wizard. You don't go <laughs> oh yeah yeah because he was on the mass singer i just realized what that this clip is he was on the mass singer <laughs> that's okay 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 that's funny that's funny Oh my gosh, bro. You have reached the WWE Performance Center. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message after the beep, and we will get back to you at our earliest convenience. Have a great day. Hey, you're just mad because I'll be able to do something with my guitar and hands that you'll never be able to achieve in your entire life, kid. So yeah, you're gay. <laughs> What? Sincerely, scripts. <laughs> that was, I like that. I like that. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately, my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? <laughs> he looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand. Setting up that chair. Show the boy. Oh, oh the no. The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable <laughs> chair in the world. 
it's violating your backside. <laughs> oh my god. Brutal spot. What movie or show is this? Somebody said Silent Hill used to be better several years ago. Let me just say, when you use the phrase dark psychological thriller in conjunction this with what is a, that, supposed that to be a video game, you've already, darkness opening you've already shit and fell back in. <laughs> really? One idiot said, it's all about the story, the character, the dark psychological thriller, the writing. It's all fucking phony. The first <laughs> Silent Hill. If, 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 I don't know what the fuck they're doing here. This kid's birth was not a successful procedure. They're gonna be born again. Fucking Bro, the way they're cutting up the, the Jim Cornette leader, audio, of, you know, deliverance misfits to match the a lot of shit here the, the cutscene. There's also Silent Hill three, and here comes this <laughs> hundred pounds, four foot nine, dirty white schoolgirl character, and clears all the heels out pretty much by herself. In the most Bro, egregiously this is stupid and creative as hell, that they tried to push her to the teenage girl fans. What, <laughs> what difference is it made? There are no female video game fans, especially for this fucking horse shit, neck beard, fucking spooky, stupid shit. So finally, this is we got good. Silent Hill 2.0. First of all, James was a repulsive human being as well that killed his wife Mary and that fucking inexorable this is inexorable cretin said she's <laughs> writing this letter now when she's been dead for three years oh I don't know what the fuck's going on there I would have probably booked him a fucking long stay at a fucking mental institution <laughs> that's a sign of mental instability hi everybody Jim Cornette here with the gang at Witch Pizza Ow! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> hey, wait! Damn it! I wish he'd be exposed to something out of the fucking Bolivian rainforest so we could get rid of this fucking kid. Three of the members of my immediate family are on America's most wanted. Oh, here comes the goddamn, you know, fucking no good peroxide blonde for James. Sexual gratification. And you knew she wasn't gonna be sexy very long because then she's gonna age out of it. Because look at her, she's 30 something years old. And she had a horrible fucking voice. That voice droned on. So I don't know what the fucking attraction <laughs> is that anybody would be persuaded by this indecent woman persuaded in uh, 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 parentheses. But also the, the fucking being killed in front of us and then just getting up or whatever. No, she's totally unsalvageable. <laughs> Why can't we be free? <laughs> We certainly have separated the men from the boys here. What? This guy's familiar. Wait, hey boy, that could have gone any number of ways. And it's gone. You can't get away from me, Vince! <laughs> I'm coming for you! <laughs> if you want to have a fucking psychopath, that's fine. I'm all for people that are crazy. If you got a guy that you, he can convince people that he's crazy and dangerous, then that's a fucking attraction. But he's just an overgrown, retarded, goon-faced kid. <laughs> he's the only man I've ever known that can strap a bucket of fried chicken on his back and ride a motor scooter across Ethiopia. <laughs> Bro, these one-liners and clips from Jim Cornette. This ugly, fat, deformed, <laughs> impotent jelly bugger probably won't last that hurt is what I'm gathering from this so far. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Did I see a fucking unidentified flying object? Well, I could, maybe he wants fucked up, man. Maybe he wants was duck, man. This okay, is great. Okay, at least they're going to go in the right direction here, one way or the other. This is great. 
Well, that just escalated quickly. <laughs> Fuck. How goddamn come through that fucking window and cut you? This is fantastic, bro. Oh my god! So this guy's already admitted that he's just he's all about the pussy apparently, but he doesn't care. Um I the, the, no, I the cutting of the, two the games crazy kids, and the clips lovers, of him talking. I hope they finally it's great. everything out. <coughs> this is fantastic. <coughs> You'd better do something about that cough. How do you know she's sick? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you yeah, right. oh, God. Now you know everybody's gonna think we set that up. Get the fuck around, don't cuss me! Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> The good part is this dog's going to be a fucking superstar. <laughs> that's the good part of this whole that that's the good takeaway that I can come up with from this stunningly Japanese video game. Shockingly enough, you know it's Japan because everybody's Japanese and the words in Japanese that's a pretty good clue. Some things will never change. I don't have a comeback. I I've, I've got to go away. I'm Jim Cornette and that's my opinion. <laughs> That was great. That was fantastic. That whole last segment of them talking to him, like cutting like different clips from Silent Hill with Jim Cornette's commentary is fucking fantastic. That was I enjoyed every every second of that, bro. That was great, man. But yeah, another great episode of Botchamania, man. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part from this video, man. Uh, I love, I, I love the realization when I realized that was Jericho from the Mass Singer singing that song. That was pretty cool as well, man. But hey, I appreciate y'all kicking it with your boy Rob Ross once again. Appreciate y'all, man. Road to 100K, and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace.